So you're gonna write your first name and last name, your room number, and your grade level. And then that's the back. So um, we want to fold our paper in half one way, like so, and then fold it in half again the other direction, like so. And when you open it up, you should have four rectangles. And we're gonna use the How to Draw a Blue Dog resource paper. And these images also have that folded parts to help you get things in place. So this first one is a circle and I'm just kind of marking where it should be on my paper before I start. And then I'm gonna draw a light big circle and then go to this next step, which is the part of the white part of the nose. So I'm using that to help me get everything into place. And then there's this, the mouth or the muzzle part and that's gonna go all the way down to the fold. So I try to use that to help me guide me on where things go. And then we're gonna do the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And then I'm on this step here, so adding some ears. So we are working on filling the space as we always are. And then we're gonna go to the body. So if I look, the feet, the front feet kind of go about here. So I'm gonna get that ready. And this is gonna go down and then back out and then in again. So if you need to do that a couple times to get that in the right position, go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna use these front lines. And then I'm gonna work on the back legs go here and they go through the body in the back like this. And I'm gonna do that back leg here that comes down to this side. And then just fix things if it looks like, it does look a little off. So I'm gonna work on maybe making this come in a little farther. So maybe like this. So in a little bit and then I'll erase and fix. So that's what you're gonna do until you get that in the correct positions. When you're finished with pencil, you're gonna get a mat and your Sharpie and trace over what you did. Now, as you Sharpie, remember some of this does not get Sharpied. So let's, let me show you. So where I get to the nose, I don't want the circle to be all the way through the nose. So I'm going to not trace that part, but you go ahead and trace everything else. And again, you can use this finished piece as a guide on what you should be tracing with your Sharpie. And we're gonna do everything in our Sharpie, then erase any extra pencil. And then last, we wanna do some kind of horizon line. So if you look in this one, there's a horizon line maybe here, or you could go lower. It's up to you where you'd like that horizon line. But remember, it just goes behind your dog. And then you're going to use your eraser to erase all this extra pencil to clean up before we add color.